Hey there, future scientists. Welcome back to Reading Redness Centers. Today, we are diving into the awesome world of energy and exploring how it gets transferred. Are you ready for an energy-packed adventure? Let's go. What is energy transfer? Well, think of it as the power that makes things happen. It's what lets us do all the cool stuff. Like playing. Running. And even turning on the lights. Look at our playground pals. They are full of energy, just like a bouncing ball. When they push the swing, they transfer their muscle power into the ropes. And when that ball hits the ground, its energy jumps into the air, making it bounce again. But where does all this energy come from? It all starts with our very own star, the sun. It's like a giant energy factory, sending out invisible rays of energy called sunlight. It warms the earth, makes plants grow, and even gives us a tan. And guess what? We can capture those sunbeams with solar panels, turning them into electricity to light our homes, charge our phones, and power our TVs. Now, there are different types of energy, and they are like the special powers of our superhero. We have kinetic energy, which is the energy of motion. Imagine a speeding car or a rolling ball. That's kinetic energy in action. And then there's potential energy. Like when something is ready to move but hasn't yet. It's like a coiled spring or a stretched rubber band just waiting to unleash its energy. How cool is that? Now, here comes the really exciting part, the transfer of energy. Imagine you have a super cool bowling ball and you roll it towards a set of pins. What happens? The energy from your hand transfers to the ball, making it move, and then it transfers again to the pins, knocking them down like a bowling champ. That's the transfer of energy in action. It's like playing a game of energy hot potato, passing it from one thing to another, creating a chain reaction of awesome movements. Let's look at some real life examples. Ever played with dominoes? When you set them up and push the first one, the energy transfers and they all fall in a fantastic domino effect. It's like setting off a magical energy chain. Or how about a game of catch? When you throw the ball to your friend, the energy transfers from your hand to the ball and then to your friend's hands. It's like a fun energy relay. You're passing the energy baton. Energy's team is all around us, even in nature's coolest creations. Check out these wind wizards, wind turbines. They catch the wind's energy with their giant blades and turn it into electricity, powering our homes and schools. And water. It's a total energy superstar. Rushing rivers push turbines in dams, creating electricity that lights up cities. Even waves crashing on the beach are transferring energy, showing us the power of the ocean. Feel that cozy warmth? That's energy from burning wood, transforming into heat and light. And whoa, did you see that lightning zap? It's like nature's own energy show, transferring electrical energy through the sky. And don't forget volcanoes. They're like Earth's energy chimneys, 
releasing thermal energy from deep underground. Energy is everywhere, even in nature's most epic wonders. Now it's your turn to be energy detectives. Look around you and spot those energy transfers in action. See how your toaster turns electricity into heat to make golden toast? Or how your flashlight's batteries create light to banish the darkness? Thanks for joining our thrilling energy adventure today at Reading Redness Centers. If you had a blast learning about the transfer of energy, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more exciting lessons. Until next time, stay curious, stay excited, and keep exploring the amazing world of science. See you soon.